This is a film to explain the basics of one of the new tools in TurboCAD version 19, Professional Platinum. And for this one I'm going to explain the Smesh tool. Up to now you've been able to produce objects as a solid object or as a surface. And now you've got a, a third way of dealing with 3D objects. So we've got uh, the machine set up here. The, the user interface is the old classic one. It now defaults to a black screen. Uh, but if you don't like that, which I certainly don't like, if you go to Tools and Customize, here it says Styles and Themes. You just choose TurboCAD Classic. And then you'll go back to something you can look at. Um, so I've got the selection information box out here. The selection information box is found under tools and palettes. Here it is. And so there's nothing much in there's nothing there at all. When I select an object, this becomes live, it tells me it's a box in here. If you open up these boxes, there's a certain amount of information in each box. This one says it tells you what layer it's on, print style, and all that sort of business. We don't need that. 3D pen, we don't need, just tells you the line colours black, we don't care. 3D, box and metrics. So it tells us here, the solid mode, it's a solid. It says material, it doesn't say material. If we clicked on here, we could open a box and give it a material, but we won't bother because we're not going to bother with that in, in this exercise. Uh, here is the length, the width and the height of it. And again, it tells us what type of object it is, the box. So at the moment it's a solid. If we turn it, so if we click onto here, we see we've got the choice of solid, surface, and smesh. Now, if we jump straight from solid to smesh, it sometimes does some odd things. So if we want to be precise, we go from solid to surface. It's now that it's now a surface object, and from surface we go to smesh. Now we see it uh, looks rather different. And this uh, box has been divided up into three sections, both in terms of the height and the width and the length. You see, it's all three sections. Here, length division three, width three, height three. So we can change any of those. So if we change, say, uh, we change the length to six, hit return, we can see that whole thing has changed around. Now, also here, we've got smooth. You see it says none. So at the moment, it's just a box with lines around it. We can turn it back into a solid if we want to, and those lines will disappear. But at the moment, we've got all those lines on there. And here it says smooth, none. If we make it one, we can see we've got an object like that. Okay. Now, that's that's the basics of, of of the tool. And now we can go a lot. We can go back. So that level one, we can go back to none. And we could change certain parts of it. So at the moment, this um, this is smoothing the whole object. So obviously, the more dense this mesh, when we smooth it, the the, the smoothing will be uh, uh, less. I suppose it'll be a small smaller. If we have <coughs> fewer divisions then when we smooth it it'll make a greater impact upon the uh, the object so that's the start now what we can do next is we can go to modify and explode and then if the next time we select it, instead of selecting it with the uh, just the select uh, tool we go to select edit tool then when we click onto it now we can see we've got a different object altogether. Now, where all of these meet, these we can pull out by eye. We can pull them out by eye, or you can see down here, I could select one, and you can see that down here in the deltas, we've got a, an extra way of moving things. You see when I click onto that you'll notice that the boxes down the bottom move as well. So that we've got an option to do it by eye or if we want to we can uh, type in information in these delta boxes down the bottom. 
okay? It's a good idea to keep it moving around because it's very difficult sometimes to see whether you've actually got on, on, the, on the right part, you know, whether, you've, uh, whether you're actually doing what you think you're doing, as it were. So if I grab onto that and take that right up, take that right up, I think I know what I'm doing, but I don't really know until I actually start turning it around and seeing what I'm doing. Now also, we've got these sections. You see each, there's, uh, as well as the intersections, there's this is sort of box within it. Now, if we put our finger on Control and Shift, see if we get that plus minus uh, attached to our cursor, we can then click into a box. You notice there, there's a box that's highlighted that box. We can also highlight the box underneath. We've got two boxes highlighted. This tool here, Merge Facets, if I click onto that, that will merge those two boxes into one. And so then what can we do if we click onto there, it should behave slightly differently. Okay. Um, selector mode, uh, ordinary selection source. So that is the basics of it. Uh, we can, uh, if we turn off the grid, Alt G will turn off the grid, go to view, visual styles, hidden line, always gives you a bit more of an idea about what you've drawn. Now you can see from here, the narrow also I can see inside. So because it's a surface, you, you've got to be careful that you can see, uh, let me get a little confused here, you've got, because it's a surface, Sometimes you can sort of open that surface and get and see inside of it. it says. Now what you can do after that is you can um, turn it back into a solid. So if we take this one over here and we do the same thing, we go to I take this back to wireframe, select it, go from solid to surface, from surface to smesh, modify explode, deselect, select edit, click on here, again I can select that box, control, uh, shift, ah, now I've clicked on the wrong one here, so if I click on it again, still keeping those two buttons down, I'll deselect it, and I can try again, and there it is, I've selected it now. Delta Y, Delta X, I can do a uh, minus 12 here, and uh, say a minus uh, minus 12 here, hit return, and I pulled the whole thing out. Or over to one side, a little bit skew with. Okay, so that's another way of doing it. There's also a an option here to put a crease in, which is, which um, it, it it sort of it, it makes so the edges don't actually meet at a hard edge, they'll sort of go into each other. It's something you just need to play around with to see how it works. Okay, so that's now, um, uh, let's see, what should I do? Let's go back here, let's move a couple more things. Move that, uh, that perhaps, that, and uh, this perhaps. Okay, so, so I'll say that's my uh, object finished. Uh, I'll select it, I'll go back from smash to surface, and from surface to solid. This says, well, this might take a little while. I say, yeah, okay, go ahead. In actual fact, it hasn't taken any time at all. And now, here's our, uh, our new shape. And our new shape, we can use the, uh, our normal tools with. So if I go to, um, where are my tools? So here tools, palettes, uh, tools. So if I go to my 3D tools and I've got a 3D modifier, I can put a fillet edge. So fillet edge here, I'll give it a, a size, I can make it say 12. I can click onto that edge, this edge here say, and I can do, I can do all that. So we can, once we've turned it back into a solid, we can use all our other uh, normal 3D tools with it. So if I was going to, uh, if I wanted to chop a bit out, I could draw the box in there. Go up to modify, 3D Boolean operations, subtract, main object first, 
bit I want to take out, and then I've uh, taken a chunk out of it. Okay, so that's essentially it. I think personally that uh, brings a nice new aspect to uh, to TurboCAD.